गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन Good evening. Is the audio and the presentation clear to everyone? Hello, Anamika. Just confirm whether everything is working well. Audio, video, is everything going well? Good evening to all the students. Today is the fourth class in our free marathon series, and today we'll be discussing about the operon model. If you have seen the previous part, that is part one, in that we have covered the lag operon. We are left only with few chunks of that, so we'll cover up that thing, and then we'll be moving forward to the trip operon. Okay. so let's just wait for students to join in and then we'll start with our class If you are new to the channel, if you are new to this marathon series, so we have our own application. You can download it from both the App Store and from both the App Store, uh, Apple Store, and also from the Android Play Store. Okay, so download it from there. In addition to that, we have a lot of courses running right now. Also, we have st we are starting off with a new course on eleventh of December. so if you are targeting the december 2022 examination so this course would help you out in the best manner possible we'll be revising every single thing in that particular course i'll be providing the link for the same in the description box check it out and if you wish to enroll you can join in that particular course with a special discount running okay and also we have a very special surprise for all the students which would be live on the app tomorrow uh, on the youtube channel tomorrow so just wait for it it would help you out for sure okay so let's talk about our class today so today we'll be discussing about the next operon model that is regarding the trip operon before that let's cover up the remaining portion for the lag operon so if you all remember if you have not watched the previous part please watch it the watch the previous part aapko tabhi ye part samajh aayega because jo lag operon hai humne uska major part pehle hi cover up kiya hai aur aaj hum uska jo remaining portion tha last wala sirf wo cover up karenge and then we'll be moving forward to our trip operon okay see humne agar aapko yaad ho last class mein catabolite suppression ke bare mein we studied now इन द एबसेंस ऑफ लैक्टोज जब लैक रिप्रेसर बाइंड करेगा ऑपरेटर से तो ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ब्लॉक हो जाएगी ये हमने स्टडी किया था इन अडिशन अगर कैप और कैम जो कैम और कैप कॉम्प्लेक्स था उसमें अगर उसकी प्रेजेंस के अंदर आर एन ए सिंथिस होगी तो उस टाइम पर रिप्रेसर बाइंडेड रहेगा ऑपरेटर से एंड इट वोट बी एबल टू ट्रांसक्राइब द जीन्स प्रेजेंट ठीक है देन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लैक्टोज जब लैक्टोज का प्रेजेंस होगा उस टाइम पर क्या होगा जो हमारा लैक्टोज है उसको रिप्रेसर रिमूव करा लैक्टोज जो है वो रिप्रेसर को रिमूव कराएगा आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज विल बी एबल टू वर्क प्रॉपरली और कैप और कैम कॉम्प्लेक्स जो है वो भी वहाँ से रिमूव आउट होके हमारा लैक्ट आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज ट्रांसक्राइब होगा एंड द वर्क वुड गेट कंटिन्यूड राइट नाउ जस्ट लुक एट योर when the lactose is present or not agar lactose absent hai repressor bounded rahega glucose present hoga cap bound karega nahi bind karega aur 
लैक्टोज का ट्रांसक्रिप्शन होगा नो वाई बिकॉज जस्ट लुक एट हियर अगर लैक्टोज एबसेंट है तो लैक्टोज का ऑपरेटर या लैक्टोज का ऑपरॉन वर्क नहीं करेगा एंड इफ द लैक्टोज इज प्रेजेंट देन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑफ द लैक्टोज वुड टेक प्लेस जस्ट सी वेन द लैक्टोज इज एबसेंट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इज नॉट टेकिंग प्लेस वेन द लैक्टोज इज प्रेजेंट ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस टू अ मैक्सिम लेवल बट इन द सेकेंड केस वेन इट इज प्रेजेंट विथ द कैप नॉट बाउंडेड there would be a transcription of lactose but to a lesser extent okay so this was about it now mutation in the lactose i have already explained about all these things to uh, in the previous class go through it okay so we are starting off with our next operon that is about the trip operon that is the most important topic that we have to start off in our fourth class of free marathon series so now when we look into the lactose operon it was an operon in which the presence of lactose led to the opening or led to the initiation of the transcription of the zya genes right lekin trip operon ke andar kya hota hai in the trip operon the presence of tryptophan would lead to the blockage of the tryptophan operon why because jo tryptophan hai ट्रिप्टोफैन एक इम्पॉर्टेंट अमाइनो एसिड है हमारे सेल के मेटाबॉलिज्म के लिए ओके एंड ट्रिप्टोफैन के अंदर अगर सेल के अंदर ट्रिप्टोफैन प्रेजेंट है सो ट्रिप्टोफैन के ऑपरेटर की नीड नहीं है वाई बिकॉज दिस ट्रिप्टोफैन वुड बी डूइंग वॉट दिस ट्रिप्टोफैन ऑपरेटर और दिस ट्रिप्टोफैन ओपेरॉन वुड बी प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस केमिक दिस पर्टिकुलर अमाइनो एसिड और अगर सेल के पास ऑलरेडी अमाइनो एसिड प्रेजेंट है इफ इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन द सेल देन वॉट विल हैपन देन द सेल डज नॉट रिक्वायर द एक्टिविटी ऑफ द ट्रिपोपेर ऑन राइट सो रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस एंड दैट इज दैट इज इन केस ऑफ लैक ओपेर ऑन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लैक्टोज will lead to the switching on of the lac operon okay and in case of tryptophan operon the presence of tryptophan would lead to switching off of the trip operon this is a very very important point that you need to remember that is lactose presence would lead to on and if it is absent then the operator would be then the operon would remain closed when the tryptophan is present the operator would be operon would be off and when it is absent the tryptophan op operon would be turned on because now the cell need the tryptophan right and this trip operon would help in the production of that tryptophan so make sure you remember about it is this concept clear to everyone yes or no quickly is it clear clear everyone should we move forward okay now let's understand about the main concept of the tryptophan see e coli needs amino acids to survive right as the as it require the lactose same it would require the e uh, amino acid as well to survive so for out of all the amino acid one of the amino acid that it need is the tryptophan it is an example of what it is an example of negatively controlled repressible operon why because i have just explained you that the presence of the tryptophan would lead to the stoppage or would lead to the switching off of the operon and the absence of the uh, operon would lead to switching on so negativity means negativity in sense of 
the absence of something is leading to the activity of something so that is why it is negatively controlled repressible operon trip operon is a repressible system because it is inhibited by an effector molecule which is tryptophan again correct because what is actually happening the main effector molecule the tryptophan is itself leading to the inhibition of the final structure it is leading to the inhibition of the final work of the operon why because absence or presence if tryptophan is present the same tryptophan would lead to the stoppage or the negative inhibition of the tryptophan operon and the absence would lead to the positivity it would lead to the positive work of the tryptophan so we'll say the same it is working as a effector molecule right it is working as a effector molecule in the complete work so this is very very important i hope this particular concept is clear to everyone so now let's talk about the various structural genes in it so as in the case of the previous one that is as in the case of lactose there were three genes which were they y z and a in case of <coughs> tryptophan we have five which are these first one is trip e then trip d c b and a that means we have tryptophan getting produced by the help of five effector genes which which are they a b c d e in the reverse direction we have trip e then trip d then trip c trip b and trip a so this is how the complete structure looks like in this we have a promoter as well on to the promoter the rna would bind we have a operator as well on to which the repressor would bind and which is the repressor for the tryptophan it is the same tryptophan molecule itself see something that i have explained you it is written over here that tryptophan when present in the environment it would lead to the switching off of the complete tryptophan and when it the availability is low it would get on so the genes are transcribed biosynthetic enzymes are made and more tryptophan is getting produced so this is something that i have already explained you now look at here see when the tryptophan is present the trip repressor binds to the operator and the rna synthesis is blocked so we have the promoter <coughs> we have the operator and we have the five <coughs> structural genes so when the tryptophan is present the tryptophan would come and bind to the repressor rna polymerase would not be able to proceed further and the transcription would not take place right when it is absent the uh, tryptophan is not there so the repressor would be removed rna polymerase would be able to transcribe the genes present and as a result the tryptophan would be produced by the complete operon structure so is this clear to everyone yes or no just let me let me know if it is clear or not then we'll move forward okay let's move forward now now let's understand about the regulation by the trip repressor that is how does the actual regulation of the complete structure takes place see the trip is a allosteric effector of the trip repressor therefore the trip repressor responds directly to the concentration that means because it is a allosteric effector now what is a allosteric effector before that what do you mean by the term allosteric see allosteric means we have a concept of enzymes in which which we study in unit number 1 that is biochemistry what is it all about so an enzyme is a substance or it is a compound that helps in the initiation or it helps in the increase in the order of the reaction 
in that we have allosteric protein present allosteric protein so what are those the protein that binds to any other site than the active site which helps to work in the complete process so what is it all about the complete depth is dealt in the courses so if you want you can join in there for the time being just understand this concept that tryptophan it is a allosteric effector of the trip repressor and that is the reason why the complete operon of tryptophan responds directly to the presence or the absence or we can say the concentration of the tryptophan so when sufficient amount is present one molecule of tryptophan would bind to the complete monomer and then what will happen the work would be stopped but so what it would do it will then orient in a helix turn helix motif so what is it when we look into the protein structure so there are four basic structures of protein which are these alpha sorry uh, primary secondary tertiary and quaternary so in case of the secondary structure we have various sub structures like alpha helix beta turn etc so this uh, repressor orients in a form of helix turn helix motif of the repressor towards the dna major groove now what happens this tryptophan repressor would bind to the dna and it would prevent the rna polymerase from binding and if the rna polymerase would not bind at the end what will happen because the main function of the transcription could initiate only with the rna polymerase getting the work done but if the rna polymerase is not able to do the work what will happen the complete biosynthesis would be stopped and hence the rna polymerase would not work in any way okay so this is how the main regulation occurs now in addition to that you can understand it this way as well yeah in addition to that the regulation also occurs in the same format see you have the trip repressor you have trip r trip r present so this trip r that is the repressor uh, that is the gene which would be producing the tryptophan repressor tryptophan repressor would become activated when when the trip that is r amino acid would come and bind to these sites okay when this trip getting binded to the tryptophan repressor it would go and bind to the promoter promoter would not lead to would not let the rna polymerase bind over here and as a result the function cannot occur okay so this is how the complete work happens when the intracellular concentration of tryptophan is low there will be no binding of the tryptophan to the repressor because obviously if tryptophan is low how can it bind to the repressor it cannot so same is written over here and hence the gene in the tryptophan operator uh, operon are transcribed very simple just two things tryptophan present it would bind to the repressor no work if it is absent it will not bind and the work would happen and we would have our formation of the tryptophan done now in addition to that we have also one more point related to the repression or the regulation by the attenuation so now what is attenuation very very important time and again questions are asked up from it in gate csir and dbt exams which is that what is attenuation so it is a mechanism for reducing the expression of the trip operon which levels when the levels of the tryptophan are high that means when the tryptophan level is very high in the cells what will happen the operon has to stop working or the expression of the operon has to be reduced so this is done by the help of attenuation rather than blocking the initiation of transcription attenuation prevents the completion of transcription very very important point and that is in attenuation the transcription is not stopped means the uh, when you look into transcription there are three steps initiation elongation and termination so in attenuation the initiation is not blocked rather the termination is worked upon where the termination would be done the termination would be stopped and as a result the expression would not be completed okay so what happens that the 5 dash end of the polycystronic mrna 
transcribed from the trip operon has a leader sequence upstream of the coding region in the trip e structural genes now this leader sequence encodes a 14 amino acid leader peptide containing two tryptophan residues and this function because this complete attenuation would be occurring by the help of the leader sequence the function of leader sequence is what it is to fine tune the expression of the tryptophan operon based upon the availability of the tryptophan inside the cell if the tryptophan availability is more operon would be tuned down and if it is less the operon would be tuned up okay so now in addition to that the leader sequence contains four regions numbered 1 to 4 that means if you look into the number of the if you look into the structure of the leader sequence what happens you have 1 2 3 and 4 these are the four regions present numbered 1 2 3 4 that can form now these four regions 1 2 3 4 they can form a variety of structures and these structures are dependent upon the base pairing they can form a stem loop like structure so there are four regions region 1 region 2 region 3 and region 4 three region is complementary to both region 2 and 4 that means you have region 1 2 3 and 4 so this region 3 it is complementary to region 4 as well and region 2 as well so now over here depending upon the three pairing with 2 or 3 pairing with 4 this would be deciding a specific structure that is if region 3 and 4 are base pairing with each other what will happen they form a loop like structure which is called the attenuator and it functions as a transcriptional termination and if it the, if the pairing occurs between 3 and 2 then there there is no such attenuation and the transcription would continue so from here what can we understand that if 3 and 4 are joining together that means at this particular time the transcription termination occurs in other words we can say the operon is stopping or we can say that the cell has enough tryptophan right in the second case when it binds to 2 when 3 and 2 region binds together in this time what will happen over here the transcription is getting continued that means the cell still requires more transcription the cell still requires more tryptophan and it does not have enough tryptophan so you have to remember about this point depending upon this we have a lot of question in CSIR so I hope everything is clear till here so I hope every single thing till this particular point is clear to you yes or no yes is it clear to everyone Great. Now let's do one thing. Let's try to summarize every single thing, whatever we have discussed about the lac operon and the trip operon. Let's have a questionnaire done. Okay. So I'll be asking you few points and then we'll be you'll be writing down the answers in the chat section. Clear? So my first question is like I'll be giving you few cases and you have to answer it. So it would help you to like re recall everything and if you have any doubt we can solve it out here itself. First thing is like I'll ask you either the presence or absence and you have to tell that whether the operator would be working or not working. Clear? Should we start? So. The very first one is what will happen in the E. coli cell if the operon, if the lactose is present in the cell. So just try to find out the answer for this that if the lactose is present. So will the lac operon work or will the lac operon not work? Try to analyze and get the answer for the same.
here everyone just try to write down the answer for the first okay and make sure that you write down the reasons as well okay yes the lac operon will be working write down the reason for the same as well because it would help you to understand the, that you have understood the concept or not so just write down that okay the answer is it would be working but what is the reason for it to be working we have discussed everything about it so write down the reason as well Yes, what is the reason that the lac operon would be working? Quickly. when the bacteria lack glucose yes when the bacteria lack glucose so if it have lactose present so what will happen it would try to utilize it as a source of for their metabolism okay and what about the second case what will happen if the lactose is absent in the cell now what will happen Yes, what will happen if the lactose is absent? Lac operon will be closed. Yes, the bacteria does not get the energy because it is already having glucose so it won't be utilizing lactose for that thing very good now let's switch over to the second thing that is for the trip operon so for trip operon we have just discussed these things that is if the glucose if the lactose is oh, sorry if the tryptophan is present what will happen in this case the operon will be in the off condition right and if the tryptophan is absent so in this case the operon would be working correct because this is something that we have just discussed so this was all about the lac operon and the trip operon this thing might look like very difficult on the first go but just go through both of these parts you will be thorough with both the topics of lac operon and the trip operon as well so is everything clear to everyone any doubt till now any doubt till now yes so this was all about the lac operon and the trip operon so the next topic we'll be discussing tomorrow this was about for today's class okay so if you have any doubt anything you can let me know in the chat sections as well i'll solve it out in addition to that we'll have our next marathon class tomorrow 
I'll share the link for the same. Make sure you join in on time. In addition, we have a new course starting very soon on 11th. Join in that particular course. It is a crash course for the upcoming examination. So make sure you join in there. If you feel like that, you uh, you want to revise in a specific manner. You want to revise in a very structured manner. So this course would help you out for sure. In addition, we have a general aptitude course running for the students. If you feel like that part A is a bit difficult to you, join this particular course. We'll make it easier. Okay, so this was about for today's class. And if you're new to Botany Insider, so make sure you do not forget that we have our own application. And also, make sure you do not forget to subscribe to Botany Insider as well. We have to reach 10,000 subscribers very, very soon. So let's achieve this target in this particular month itself. Okay, thank you for joining in everyone. We'll meet tomorrow. I'll let you know the, I'll share the details of the same with you. Okay, bye everyone.